<laughs> now we are going to look at our 6.4 regarding our angles and tangents of circle to uh, at the page 87 in our Nilam book. Okay, in the diagram below, AE is a tangent there with center O. Find the value of X and Y. Then, then, then. Huh. So, first thing first. We have 120 degree at our center there. Mm. So, 180 minus 120. Then, divide by 2. Why divide it by 2? Uh, you are using, we are going to say first, this one, you are going to say about our OCF. Okay, we are going to say about our OCF because we have so many things there, right? Uh, so, your friend said that she going to take the triangle, the isosceles, I think, this one, right? Not I think, yes, of course. This is going to... Eh? Why it doesn't make... Wait, eh? Dia tak nak jadi apa? Isosceles. Wait. Okay, like this. <coughs> okay. So, this one... Uh, o, center. F, here. And this is going to be C. Okay. We are going to use this one first. 120... Why did we, uh, how did we know that it's going to be isosceles? Because our radius here. O to F and O to C is going to be our radius. So it means that it's going to be iso, isosceles. That's why your friend said 180 minus 120 divided by 2. So we are going to get 30. Girls? 30 degrees, isn't it? Uh, so you are going to get 30 here. And this one also 30 degree. So why we are using 30 degree there? Nah. Why? Huh? Why are you using 20 degree there? 20. Eh, 20, 30 degree. Find oh, you want to find the Y first. Oh. If I oh. I think I want to find X easier. <laughs> Opposite there. Opposite. X plus with 120. 180. Oh, 180. Right. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Your, your friend suggested by using X over here plus with 120, we are going to get 180. So, it means that we can get our X here first. 60 degree. Agree? Yeah. Okay. So, now, if I want to find my Y. Okay. Back to our friend here. Okay. If you look over there. What did you have over there for your wife? Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. If you look over here, this one is going to be 60 degree also, right? Yeah. This one, this one. By using F and C. F and C. By using the arc of FC, the, what we call, the angle at the center is going to be twice from the angle at arc. 60 degree there. So, it means that if that one is 60 degree, so what did you have over there? I'm going to get this one actually 90 degree. So, this one also 30 lah. As this one is going to be 60 also. How did I know that one is 60? No, 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 no. This one. This one is 90, right? Uh -huh. So this one is 60. Means that this one is 30, uh, 30 right? The remaining. This one is going to be the same like this one, 30. So 30 and 30? 60. 60. If this one is 60, this one is 60. Means that the angle over here is going to be? Also, 60. 60. You have already inside here 60. Means that this one? 30. 30. Come on, Get up. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> this one, okay, say ulang balik. Ah, this one can point of tangency. Ah. 
Right. Okay, so this one, you are going to get 90. Am I right? So you have already that one uh, already 60. Yes, we are going to have inside here is 30. Right? Okay, so just now, we have our uh, 60 degree over there. So over there, we have already this one. 30, right? Too late to Okay, okay, okay. Let me draw first. This one. There. This one is 30. This one also 30, right? Uh. So you have total is 60 already for our F here. Can? Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. Ah, this one 30. So if that one is 60, this one is 60, I'm using the triangle of F, C, D here. 60, 60, means that the total here? 60. 60 also. You can assume straight away this is going to be the what? Equilateral triangle. It doesn't stay there. But by using our triangle over here, 60, 60, means that the remaining is going to be 60, 60 degrees. So we have already this one is 30 again. So can I find the remaining for Y here? 60 minus 60 minus 30, right? Faham tak ni? Okay. By using the triangle of FCD here, girls. Uh, okay, this is F C S C here D. Okay, this one already we have sixty. This one already I have sixty. Means that we know this one will be sixty also, isn't it? So means that what we have over there is Y plus with. 30, isn't it? Equals to 60. Can I find my Y? Yes. So, our Y here is going to be 60 minus with 30. So, you are going to get your Y here is 30 degree. Can girls? Can I proceed? Wait. Can? Can. Okay, we go for B here. Number 6B. Okay, in the diagram below, AB. Where's AB? Oh, okay, there. And AD are two tangents to a circle with center O. Okay, where is our point of tangency there? E and G, isn't it? Okay. Given EO, EO and FG. FG. Okay, parallel. Parallel. Uh -huh. Find the value of x, y, z. Okay, go. Hmm. Hmm. X first. Can I find my x there? How? 53. Eh? Oh, can I put him I'm going to get the angle at my center first over here. Isn't it? Here. 180 minus with 53. That one can quadrilateral. A, E, O, G. A, E, O, G. Can you see that? So, I'm going to get 180 minus with 53. That one is going to be 127. At our center there. This one, 127. And then, I'm going to use the arc of what? EG. Can you see EG here? E and G. The arc there. Mm -hmm. The angle at center is going to be twice with the angle to our circumference at C there. So, means that to get our X, 127 divided by, by 2. We are going to get 63.5. That's for our X. Okay. First, I'm going to use the 53 here. Okay. We are not going to have the quadrilateral here. We are not saying that X over here is going to be plus 53 equals to 180. Wrong. Why? 
you are going to take this one, the center. Remember, the tangent here is not about this one. It's going to be the point of tangency here. Is, am I right? Yes. Okay. So what we have over here, the angle at our center here, plus with 53, we are going to get 180. So 180 minus with 53, I got the angle at the center. Clear? Clear. 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 Okay. Now, by using the ENG as my arc, the arc at our center here is going to be twice from the arc from our circumference. Remember? So we have over here 1 to 7. Yeah. Oh. 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 Okay, now. How to find our Y? Huh, why? Why, why? Why, 1 to 7. If given that one is 1 to 7, wait, yeah. Hmm? I'm going to get this angle actually because that one is parallel, right? The angle at uh, this one, I'm going to use uh, interior angle. Did you remember re interior angle? The total of both angles is going to be 180. So this one, what are going to get? 53, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. So if this one is 53, uh -huh. how can I relate with Y? Ha ha ha. No, 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 cannot. That one is 53 over there. E to C to G to B. Can you see? Can you see? Okay, can. Ah, can, can, can. What you have there? Ninety. Ah, ninety. Eh, ninety. No, no, that, that, that. After E. Nah, E is ninety. Of course. Okay. Remaining over here, we are gonna get thirty. At 33 pula. 90 minus with 66. I'm going to get 24. Right. Okay. Uh, the angle at E. Total there. Total, total pula. 53. Come again. Fifty-three twenty-four. Okay, so we stop here first. We stop here first. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Because we have X, Y, Z over here. We just uh only X here. Part two. We are going to continue to our to our Y and Z. Okay, thank you.